if you're looking at removing your u-joint and replacing it either the one attached to the rear diff or these ones this one up here by the transfer case to remove the drive shaft it's super simple right here there's a 7 16 bolt you remove these there's four of them. These little clips or retainers will come off and you simply pull the drive shaft ahead towards the front of the truck. And this will come out and then you slide it backwards underneath the rear diff and it'll slide out of that yoke right there. Before you get started doing anything to do with removing a drive shaft always chalk a front wheel or rear wheel i leave the truck in neutral it just makes things a little bit easier when you are lining up your drive shaft and trying to get it back in you have a little bit of play Now that I have the drive shaft out, these caps should turn freely. It is very difficult to turn that one there. Pull the cap off, maybe. To get this guy out, usually you can just take a set of needle nose, grab like so, and squeeze, and pop it right out. Might have been in there for a little bit with the salt and snow, so I am going to more or less destroy it like I did this side. When you buy your U-joints, every time I've ever bought U-joints, they've always come with new clips. So obviously you're gonna use the new clips. Don't worry about breaking these ones. Now that I have the clip out, you're gonna to wanna to be able to push this down, pushing this cap out a lot of guys will use an old socket that fits nicely inside here so it doesn't move around too much. Hit it with the hammer, pushing it down. I ended up using a three quarter inch socket with a pair of pliers to hold on to it. You want it to fit inside that hole. And all you do is simply hit on it with a hammer until it pops all the way out the bottom. That was the cap that was in there. So it's been pushed out. That's pushed out. I did have to use a little bit of heat on these guys just to get it broke free. So now this will simply pull right out. Now that the old U-joint is out, you can see the surface rust inside. So if you have a small wire brush or something to go on your drill to clean that out, I would recommend doing so. You really wanna make sure that this groove 
in here. That is where these clips were. You want that nice and clean so that the new clips will slide in nicely and be properly seated. Once you get everything cleaned out, you want to make sure this groove inside here where the clip sits is cleaned out. I just hit everything with steel wool. Get it down to the bare metal again. You're going to be ready to install your new U joints. This is my old one. This is the new one. Obviously, double check, make sure everything is the exact same size. And you're ready to install it. The way I install my U joints, I take off two caps that are directly across from each other. The first cap I will start from this end and you're going to be pushing it in this way and I will take the U-joint over here slide it into the one in the bottom take the other cap slide it in here one thing I did not mention all these little bearings inside when you are tapping and the U-joint is not inside. Be very careful that these do not fall out or become displaced. Make sure there's lots of grease in there. It'll help hold everything together while you are tapping everything in. Now I'm getting ready to start this side. This side is already pushed flush. So I don't have to worry about the bearings in this side moving. I can slightly take this U-joint and slide it up a little bit. Now these, this little bit that's in here will still hold all those bearings. And over here, the bearings will be okay too because I've pushed this up inside to hold them. Now I can hit over here and push that cap back on. Now that I have the U-joint pushed down inside, I am ready to put this clip on. I usually push the first one in a little further than needed. And then put the clip on, and then I can push the U-joint back tight to this clip for the next side. Now I put the second clip in. Even though this looks like it's in, you really want to make sure it's seated properly. That little click is what you're looking for. Now that clip won't come out. Make sure everything moves freely. Before you get ready to install it, make sure that you put your grease fitting in. Now that the grease fitting is in, we are ready to crawl underneath the truck and put this back in. Once you get underneath the truck, you're going to want to start with sliding the yoke into the back of the transfer case. If you have four wheel drive, if it's two wheel drive, it'll just be your right into the transmission. And once you've done that, you can come back here, line up the spots on the rear diff and then it's just these little tabs that get bolted in here there's another one up there make sure you do these nice and tight but you don't want to strip them then once these are tight you can throw some grease right back in the u-joint and that's about it so once you get the U-joint, everything tightened up and a final shot of grease, the only thing left to do, fire up the truck, go take it for one hard pull down the road, make sure it holds together.